I've had quite a handful of smart TVs in the past few years and have had to screen mirror on them, but I must admit, mirroring on a Google TV has been the best and most simple experience I've had so far. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and for those who are returning, it's good to have you back. I'm Shibabs and today we have a few more solutions about the Siragon Android Smart TV Model 32 DA5000 which makes it the fifth part. Below are some links to all videos in this series. This video is made in response to a particular question most of you had in the other videos, asking how to screencast Android cell phones onto a Google Android TV. Even though in this case we're going to show this on a Siragon Google Android TV, it works for all Android TVs. <laughs> This video will answer your question. So first and foremost to do is make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi on both your devices. First on your TV, go to settings, then network and Wi-Fi. Check and make sure the Wi-Fi you're connected to is the same Wi-Fi on your cell phone. Meaning after checking your TV, go to your cell phone and make sure that it's the same Wi-Fi. Now, that being sorted out, the next thing to do, steal from your TV and from settings, we scroll down to system. From here, choose cast. You see three options, always, while casting, never. Select always. Now go to your cell phone. Most people will have the Google Home app already installed. I have Google TV installed in my cell phone, but not Google Home. Don't confuse it. If you don't have the Google Home app, open Google Play Store. Write Google Home. And you'll be shown two options. Cast for Home, which is not what we need. Actually, this is a paid app and won't work. But below is Google Home, which is what you really need. Click on Google Home and download. Wait till install is complete and follow on-screen instructions to set up. Installing is now finished. Now we're gonna open and follow the on-screen instruction. Welcome home, your content and devices all in one place, get started, and then we go to next. Allow notifications, not now. I'm gonna allow notifications and you're gonna give it permissions. Allow home to send you notifications. Well, I'm gonna do that because I wanna know what's going on on my TV. And then you have to choose an account. What account do you wanna use? Well, um, I'm gonna use this one here. And then allow nearby devices. Location access. Location access is needed to detect nearby Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals and determine your location during your home and device setup process. So I just click next. Allow home to access this device's location. Yeah, only while using the app and then turn on Bluetooth. Home is asking to turn on Bluetooth, which I'm turning on. What are you setting up? I want to set up a Chromecast Google TV. Let's see if it's going to detect it. So probably it detected it, but let's just go. Press not now. After setup is complete, way below here you have five options. Favorites, devices, automations, and settings. What you wanna do is go to devices. Click on it and you should see your TV under local devices. You can also add your device, in this case your TV, if you don't see it here. After selecting your device, there are two options. Add to a room and cast my screen. Select to cast on your TV. Cast my screen. Cast mirror device, cast screen. Start recording or casting. And that's it. You should be able to see the contents of your cell phone on the screen. So let me go down here. And that's my cell phone. Let's just try YouTube here. And that's YouTube. So I can open up anything, scroll anything. For example, this one here. You can either leave it vertically or select screen rotation to view horizontally. To stop mirroring, 
Go back to Google Home app. You will see two options, add to a room or stop mirroring. Tap on stop mirroring. So that's how you cast your Android phone or device to your Google TV. Hope this video has been helpful and has given you enough information on how to screen mirror, screencast, Chromecast any Android phone to your smart TV. In this case, your Ceragon Smart Android TV Model 32 DA5000. Remember, you can also do this for any Android Google TV. I appreciate your time watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, please let me know what you think about the TV in the comment section or if you already have some experience you might want to share. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching and as always, see you soon. Thank you.